find the mode of the following data using Excel. And this is Excel sheet. Classes and frequencies are given. We have to find the mode. The rule is given here. L plus F1 minus F0 multiplied by H divided by 2 times F1 minus F0 minus F2. Now what are these values and how to find this? Step 1. First find the model class. Model class is the class which has the highest frequency. See all these classes. Which class has the highest frequency? 67 is the highest. So this class is the highest. If this class has the highest frequency, we will highlight this. Okay, this is the model class, a class with highest frequency. Now in the model class, L is the value of the lower limit. So what is L here? 20. F1 is the frequency of the model class. What is the frequency of the model class? 67. F0 is the frequency of the class before the model class, which is 42. F2. F2 is the frequency of the class which is after the model class. So what is the frequency of the class which is after the model class? 42. H is the class size. 30 minus 20. What is H here? 10. Once we know all these values, we just have to put in the formula here. So this is, whenever we use a formula, we must start with equal to. So first is L. Click L. Then plus. Plus. There is a bracket. Put bracket. F1. What is F1? Yes. Minus F0. F0 is this. Close the bracket. Multiply by H. Multiplication is star sign. H is 10. Divide is the slash is here on the keyboard. Divide by bracket. 2 multiplied by 2 multiply here. You start. F1. Choose F1. Minus F0. Select F0. Minus F2. Close the bracket. These brackets are very important. Now this bracket is for denominator, this bracket is for numerator, but we have to add L in this, so we will put one more bracket. So L is added to this, L plus this bracket, right? Now press enter, the answer is 24.1667. If you want to reduce decimal places, you can go here, decrease, better to write your answer in two decimal places. So the answer is 24.17. You can highlight this answer. This is the answer. Now, if you want to check whether it is correct or not, when we click on this, go back, click on this, we will get the formula here. So you can see whether it is correct or not. Thank you.